So, this is regrowth prosopus coming from a stump cut at ground level. It just comes back. Um, it's already spiky. It's a little bit softer on the ends. It's almost herbaceous on the ends, like a lot of legumes, but quite quickly the spikes start. They're soft to start with, and they're harder lower down as they mature. So it's still a difficult character, but nowhere near as difficult as a mature tree. And what we do is we just cut these off with secateurs or machete, whatever you like. It can be as rough as you like if you want the tree to stop functioning. It's giving you this mulch regrowth, which is good, and it's fixing nitrogen in the ground. But if, you're, if you want to exit in the system, if you want to take it out, you just don't let it grow any leaves. And you go towards your, your higher quality legumes that are user friendly. It's time, you've decided, you've orchestrated the succession. It's time to go. You've done your job. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, it's a beautiful thing working with time schedules. You're, you're stacking time and space in a system. You're a time stacker. So you can kill any tree or any plant if you don't let it grow leaves. You don't have to use any poisons. You just stop it photosynthesizing and it has to die. It cannot, they cannot live without leaves. So their roots will die in position. This was quite a big tree and um, it's been cut a few times. It's resisted, it's come back. Uh, we'll, we'll cut it and it, it'll die. And it's great big root net or die in the ground as compost corridors rich with nitrogen way down. I mean, these trees have been recorded to go to 48 meters, but they, they average 20 plus meters, 24 meters, they reckon but it can go to 48, amazing. You can't structure the soil with that dendritic pattern like that um, any other way without major disturbance. This is a harmonic pattern down in the ground, fertilizing with natural fertility. Wonderful thing, beautiful thing to interact with.